In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a restaurant or bar menu in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video, will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in case you want to download and practice and in case you do and you want to show it up to me you can send it on instagram twitter or tiktok now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right so here in photoshop the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new document for this particular project you are going to use a4 so ctrl plus n to open the new project and then you are going to set your paper size since i've already used a4 before i'm going to have it in my recent but if you've not used it before, you can go to print and you're going to see it probably over here. By the way, I'm using Photoshop 2021. Now, once you select your paper, you go ahead and then you click on create. First things first, let's establish the background. To do that, we are going to bring an external background that we got from Pinterest. Most of the resources that I got were from Pinterest. So you go to file, place embedded, and then you can locate your files or your resources and we are going to bring this background in here. So you double click on that and then you take your time to position it. So once you get it to the point that you want, you double click on that. We are going to right click on this, rasterize the layer. We double click on the name over here and we give it B1, which indicates background one. Okay. So now once you have this, you're going to press control L to adjust the levels a bit and then you can drag it from left to right so that it darkens it a bit once you have this you can go ahead and click on ok the next thing we want to add to this will be a solid color so you go to the create new fill adjustment over here click on that and then you are going to select solid color this is the solid color that we are going to use later on you'll be able to change it to any color at all that you want once you have it you can go ahead and click on ok now we want to blend these two backgrounds we are going to make use of the blending mode so with the solid color layer selected you go to the blend mode over here and you are going to skim through to find the perfect blend for your design this may also be dependent on the background and the colors that you are using but in my case the darken over here worked so well for me so i'm going to use darken next up i'm going to add another external background so i'll go to file place embedded and then i'm going to bring this cocktail background over here you are going to transform it to feel exactly how you want it so somewhere around here will be fine and then i'm going to double click on that i'll then right click rasterize the layer and then i'm going to say this is going to be b2 so background number two you then go ahead and press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate this and then we want to also blend this to the background so you select our blend mode and then you are going to choose any blend mode that fits you so in this case the soft light worked well for me so let me press ctrl t and open it up some more like that and then you are going to double click on that so we don't want this part that is a bit harder to blend with the background so we are going to add a layer mask to it you add your layer mask choose your brush tool and then you can brush off the parts that you don't want so something like that so that it blends with the background you are going to right click on this again go to convert to smart object and then we'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we add a, a bit of blur to it so you can make it somewhere around here it doesn't have to be really blurred out and it doesn't have to be that hard as well so somewhere around here will be fine we'll go ahead and we click on ok so these three are going to be the background so we'll group that and call it background the next thing we want to add to this will be the test so to begin with we are going to add the heading to do that you're going to choose your test tool and then we are going to use a font called black salt i'll leave links to download all of these in the description the color for this would be white so we click on the color picker and then we choose white and we click on ok so we are going to left click on an empty space and we are going to type cocktail you press ctrl t and then you can transform this out like that somewhere around here it should be fine and then you can position it over here now when you go to the toggle character over here you realize that my tracking is around 40 so i want to put that to zero 
and then i can click on ok and then i'll choose my move to press ctrl j to make a duplicate drag it right underneath of this and i'm going to edit that to menu so for the menu we are not going to use black sword so you press ctrl a to select all of that and we are going to use a font called bearbass remember links to download all the fonts will be in the description so we are going to select bearbass bold you press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly and put it somewhere around here and then we can double click on it go to the color picker and give it a color any color at all but make sure that it matches with the background or the colors that you are using so for that one i'm going to pick this right over here somewhere around here should be fine and then i'll go ahead and click on ok now this looks too bold let's set this to regular and the color let's make it stand out a little bit so let's come down some more somewhere around here now we select the two test press ctrl t and close it up slightly like that and this is okay next up you're going to add the various cocktails that are available so you pick your test tool again you left click and for this one you are going to use a font called poppins and we are going to use the regular one i've already typed the test so i'm going to just copy and paste it just to make this tutorial quick all right so we're going to change the color to white and then we are going to paste it right over here we don't want it center aligned so you press ctrl a to select all of that and you're going to set it to left aligned you're going to press ctrl t and transform it until it fits to the part that you want to somewhere around here or let's close it up some more so somewhere around here should be fine and then you can paste it right over here you press ctrl t let's transform it some more slightly like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a duplicate ctrl j drag it to the right side and then you paste the nested of test over there so you double click on all of that you press ctrl v to paste it make your selection and then you left align it and then one more duplicate so ctrl plus j and then we drag it to this side and now we can paste the last set press ctrl a select it all and you left align it so these are going to be our menu items with the prices attached to it decided to make this very simple and straightforward okay so you just take your time to adjust the positionings or the spacing out here and you are good to go now the next thing we want to do is we want to make these ones stand out so what i decided to do is i'm going to bold in the very first headings so or the name the actual names so i'm going to set that one to bold and then we are going to give it a color from the recipe that is used for this one okay so in this case we have mango over here so it can go somewhere around here and give it a color like this okay so you look at the recipes and then you can give it a color from that recipe and for the pricing we are going to also set that one to bold because the pricing is very important and then you are going to give it a color let's say any any color from here so somewhere around here should be fine so let's make this one semi bold instead and the heading is going to be bold so you are going to go through all of these and do the same thing for it so you highlight you go to set this one to bold and then you give it a color from this one so let's say this one is going to have a color like somewhere around here any color at all we just do okay but then it has to be a color from the recipe over here so you do that and then you go to the pricing over here you set that one to semi bold and the color is going to be this one right over here so you can copy and paste that one for all the prices and then later on you take your time to do the headings so i'm going to go through all of these and make them one after the other and then i'll definitely catch up with you when i'm done so let me do this last one bold and let's pick a color from here so somewhere around here and then you can go on and on until you get all of them so i'm definitely going to catch you when i'm done with all of these now after taking your time to go through all of this you're supposed to get something like this next up we need to spice this with something nice so we are going for a cocktail and we'll bring it on top over here so you go to file to your resources and then you are going to place this cocktail that i got from png wing you are going to transform it you take your time and then you push it to the right side over here so let's transform it some more so somewhere around here it's okay 
and then you double click on that even with this one we need to spice it some more okay so i got a couple of effects that we can apply on this one so let's go back into our resource again place embedded and then we are going to bring this smoke effect in this case it is going to serve as an ice effect okay an effect to make this pop that is one english that design is really hit so you take your time to transform it and make sure that you drag it underneath of the cocktail layer okay this is going to make sure that it is right underneath of it and a bit a couple of them or a part of it is hidden now after you're done with this you right click on it you go to the blending options and then you can add a color to it so we are going to add a color overlay right over here and we are going to choose a color from this side okay so somewhere around here should be fine and then you click ok you press ctrl t and transform it slightly some more like that now we are going to select that plus the cocktail press ctrl t and adjust the two so we want to make it a bit or bring it down a bit like that so that the effect can actually show right over there okay and now what you can do is you select your effect and then you press ctrl j to make one more duplicate now this color right over here isn't really catch so let's go back to the color overlay and let's try to pick something from this along these lines somewhere around here it doesn't really have to be that blue so once you have this you click ok and now let's make one more duplicate so that it can be even more visible so something like this looks fine i think i like this color what do you think between this and the first one which one do you like the most right on top of these three you are going to bring one more cocktail image so we go into our resource and we can bring this red cocktail or red glass cocktail i don't know how to i don't really know but you're going to position it right over here transform it you take your time to do that now you remember this effect right you're going to make one more duplicate so control plus j to duplicate that and then we can set it right on top over here but for this one we are going to press control t transform it slightly so that it can be hidden right over there and we double click on that and now you take your time to position it so that it looks a bit realistic not realistic entirely but you get what i'm saying now you probably will be asking which company is this for in the beginning of the tutorial we didn't actually add the company but when you are done or when you are almost done you can bring your logo your company anything right over here and that is exactly what we are going to do so we can group all of these ones and call it the images and effects and then we can group these ones and call them test okay so right on top of that you are going to bring the company's logo or the name if you want to bring that mind you you can also bring it to the top over here either way that works for you it's fine so we are going to zoom in right over here we go into our resources so please embed it and then we are going to bring the company logo right over here so you take your time to transform it and then you can bring it somewhere around here let me transform it some more and then we are going to position it over here so that it looks as if it is covering the bottom part of the cocktail now this is a bit pale as that was how it was sent to me so let's make it a bit darker you right click on it you rasterize and then you press ctrl l now you can drag it from left to right a bit so that it looks a bit darkened and then you can click on ok next up you're going to create a rectangle so you choose your rectangle to and then you can create a very simple small rectangle right over here let's make sure that it is underneath the logo so you drag it down you double click on it and then you can give it a color so for the color we are going to choose it from this yellowish type of color over here and now you can bring it down slightly like that right inside of it you are going to put a test in it so you hold shift so that you can write in the shape and then you left click and now you are going to paste your contact details over there the font that we are using is poppins and semi bold now you can press ctrl t and transform your test to fit the rectangle that you created something like that you take your time to open it up and open the side too and once you are satisfied you can hit on enter and yes the rest of the things that we you do is you go to the background go to the first background over here you go to filter blur and add a bit of blur to it so that it can also blur a bit and look smooth and on top of the rectangle we can add a bit of 
curves to it so you select your curves and then you can drag it down slightly so that it looks a bit darker and if you want to add saturation on any other thing to it that will entirely be also fine but here's how you can also quickly change the background so if you select the solid color that we added and then you drag it right over here you realize that you can easily change the colors or especially according to the test that you set but in this case this worked so well for us and let's try to close this menu slightly like that so that it looks cute and bring it down slightly here now let's quickly group this ctrl g and call this contact details and yes that is how you easily create a very simple restaurant or bar menu for your client or for yourself what do you think about this design let me know your thoughts in the comment section and if you have any comments too you can leave it in the comment section stay tuned for the next part which is going to be the mocktail menu design as well i'll be gaining value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye